everybody it's me the Yorkie mom if you don't see me it's not me it's somebody else so I'm trying to be as transparent as I can in my videos um, which kind of concerns me because there's a lot of creepy people out there but there's also a lot of scammers and I've had my pictures taken and people have been taken advantage of through them so I feel like this is probably the best way to go right now so this is my available litter 12 weeks old and I'm going to start off with the pet. This little guy is really big. And to me, he's going to be too big to be considered a breeding quality dog. He's a gorgeous quality dog. He's a gorgeous dog. He is, and he's a really good quality. He's just too big. Um, you know, he's going to be at least seven pounds. So he's going to a pet home. Um, I'm probably going to keep his registration papers. So who is ever is interested in a pet? let me know he still comes with a 100 percent money back health guarantee and he will be pet priced and then the last the ones that will come with full registrations are these so here's a girl she's all sable she does have white on her feet so there's a good chance she has the party gene um, she is all sable she's got a very thick coat and she's charted for around five to five and a quarter pounds. There's a small chance she may not get that big, but she's actually looking like she's going to. So this is really good. She's very, um, very cobby, very round and solid. And she has a wonderful little personality. And I'll show you the little boy. He is as long as he is short. He is square completely, perfectly all over. He's got a gorgeous little face on him, beautiful face. And these, the black ones, when I start showing them to you, I want you to look. They're not black and gold. He has a little gold looking on his face. I'm really curious to see how he turns out because everybody else has turned out like bubbles and tippy. They just get blacker and blacker and blacker. But they're not really black and gold. They're black and sable. They don't have gold on them. Um, so I'm kind of interested in seeing how he turns out because he's the first one I've had with this much on him where it looks like there's some gold. So he may be black with this could turn blue like bubbles did. Um, it could stay sable. It could just disappear into black like Tippy's did. Tippy ended up turning black. So, who knows, but it's going to be really interesting. I want to keep in touch with the people who get him for sure to see how he turns out. He is just amazingly beautiful. And then the last little one is his little sister. And she was originally, ugh, originally charting to be about as big as him, maybe four pounds. Um, four and a half, maybe. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not going to guarantee that she'll get big enough. She's charting to get big enough. I can't guarantee that, though. But she is. She looks like she will be. Okay, and she's a beautiful little girl. She's got a nice coat. And they're so sweet, and I love them so much. So I want to make sure they go to the best homes. They do have AKC registrations. I got CKC registrations on all my adult dogs because I noticed a lot of people who have the colored dogs don't have AKC dogs so I'm just doing the CKC to kind of make it where everybody can have one so um, if you want an AKC registration I'm going to end up pricing them for a CKC registration um, but if you want AKC it will be additional uh, but they all come with a 100% money back health guarantee it is in writing and I mean every word of it um, I have never returned a dog due to health reasons. I have returned, I mean, I haven't had dogs returned due to health reasons, but I have had them returned due to cheating housewives. That's the only returns I've ever had, and one uh, return due to an, a back injury. And I think I did the right thing offering to buy that puppy back because I still have her and I love her very much. Um, so if anybody wants any, has any questions, feel free to visit my website. You can contact my veterinary reference um, on the home page. Um, you can text me uh, before calling. Sometimes I don't answer the phone because I don't always have the phone on me. Um, depending on where the phone call comes from, I won't answer it because I'm getting a lot of Alabama scam phone calls. And, uh, so I just kind of feel out whether I should even answer it or not. So um, you know how to private message me you know how to find me through the website and I hope everybody has a great weekend love your puppies bye